There's a new poll that finds Americans are placing less importance on values that have shaped this nation for generations, like faith and love of country, according to the latest survey from the Wall Street Journal and independent nonpartisan research institution NORC at the University of Chicago. 38% of respondents say patriotism is very important to them. 39% say religion is very important. When we compare responses to the poll, the same poll from just 25 years ago, it's a more than 30% decrease in the importance of patriotism and over a 20% decline in prioritizing faith. Let's bring in News Nation's political editor, Chris Steyerwalt, to talk about this. Now, people are so easily offended uh, nowadays. Not everybody, but uh, a large uh, chunk of them. And everything seems to be politicized, including faith and patriotism. But I mean, what can we agree on? Why have so many Americans, according to this poll, lost hope in these foundational values? Well, who's sticking up for them? Uh, you know, that, that sort of the problem is, we have, and this has many causes. There are many root causes to this, and and included in this list of declining values uh, is community engagement, just being involved in where you are. And the only one that went up, <clears throat> the only one that went up over this period of time, going back to the late 1990s, uh, was money. People thought that money was more important, and that these other things that you actually build a community on, that you actually build a civilization on, the value of those things have gone down. And it's not surprising given what you see our leaders and given what you see other people in the news media, given what you see political leaders and leaders in the culture do, which is very often tear down those institutions. Not to say that they're, the United States is perfect, not to say that organized religion doesn't make mistakes, not to say that those things aren't true, but the sustained attack uh, through which people have built careers, made lives, out of just tearing down institutions, this is a time where we need adults, grown-ups, to build institutions, not tear them down. But I, I think about, you know, are these questions trick questions? Because so many of the people I know still believe in these values. So many people that we hear from on our Twitter accounts and Instagram, uh, they enjoy our newscasts here on News Nation because of those same values. But you mentioned community involvement. Uh, it's 20% less important to Americans, according to the survey. Having children is also down nearly 30%. Uh, I think it's because kids are expensive, not because our values are changing, but maybe, uh, maybe it's about having fewer kids. Uh, what does this tell us, though, about how American culture and the way that we raise children has changed? Well, look, if the purpose of being alive in the world is to be happy for yourself, then why would you have kids? Why would you uh, be doing unto others? Why would you be serving in the community? Why would you be engaged in religious worship? Why would you bother caring about the country? Because if the point is me, if I am, if I am the objective, then why would I waste my time on those other things? And we have a very selfish cultural ethic that has been put forward in which we say, I don't want any of that hypocritical stuff. I want people to be real. I want people to be authentic. And if that means being greedy, if that means being selfish, if it means being all about me, then let's do that. So this me first thinking, uh, we are told in many settings makes us happy, but it makes us unhappy in the long run because it weakens the institutions like families, like churches, mosques, synagogues, communities, and by the way, this great nation. It weakens those things when we attack it and put ourselves ahead of the interests of others. Well, it'd be interesting because I think I, you sound, you know, you're very matter of fact, but it also sounds a bit jaded, which I think a lot of people are. Uh, and the fact is, is that a lot of people will point to these younger generations and say, we're, we're in a selfish time. This is the I generation, you know, iPhone, I, me, me, me. But at one point, should we look at parents and are parents passing down the values that they had instilled in them to their kids today? Or are they throwing their hands in the air and saying, well, they're just going to get on that iPad, so who cares? I would love to talk more about this, Chris, but I'm being told we're out of time. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.